Hey firearm enthusiasts, this is Jeff with JJ Rifle World and welcome back to the review bar. Today we're going to be reviewing the Ruger Mark IV 2245. As always at JJ Rifle World Reviews, our firearms are empty, are safe with no ammo or magazines in sight. That being said, let's get into it. So we have today the Ruger Mark IV. My Ruger Mark IV, as you can tell, is not your standard Ruger Mark IV. It has all accessories from Tandem Cross installed as well as a Vortex Red Dot. So, getting into it, the gun fires amazing. I have about 2,000 rounds through it right now. And that being said, I have never had a jam. I've never had an issue. My friend Joe, who has a Ruger Mark IV, will tell you different. But we're going to make another video together at the shooting range and figure out what's wrong with his. But moving forward, all my accessories are from Tandem Cross. Tandem Cross is a great company. I'm a dealer for Tandem Cross. Again, they do not pay me or ask me to do reviews on their products. But for starters, this is their compensator. It is a very nice compensator, very light, ported. So when you do fire, all the air expels up and to the sides and keeps it out of the view of your red dot. Uh, as well, I have the cocking ring. So the cocking ring on here is a lot more agile, able for you to grab it in a quicker situation, as fast as you need to. You really can't miss it instead of the standard way of trying to grab the two fins on the side right here. If you're trying to grab those, it's a little bit harder than just putting your finger in there and pulling that back. As well as I have installed the grip. This is the honeycomb grip from Tandem Cross. The grip is indeed a lot better than factory. The factory grip from Ruger, hands down, sucks. It's plastic, makes you feel like you're just holding the gun like this instead of really having a grip on it. So I did go with this. I tried it out. I swapped it out. They're about $35 to $40 on Tandem Cross. Probably get you a good deal. Give me a call. But besides that, it is a great grip to have. Definitely in modification that needs to be made. As well, I do have this thumb rest right here. This is a forward thumb rest, which, yes, it allows you to Hold the gun a lot tighter, keep the front nose down, even though, yes, it is a 22. So how much lift does the front of it really have? None. But that being said, it does give you a very good hold. Tandem Cross as well makes one for the rear safety over here. The safeties are ambidextrous, by the way, but they do make one for the rear safety. But I feel like it would touch your thumb a little too much instead of just, you know, you can, once the safety's down, you can rest your finger on top of it, your other thumb on top of it, and have a very sturdy grip now. Uh, if you want to go into this Vortex red dot, it is a pretty good red dot if you ask me. It is a little large, but it is indeed shake awake. Shake awake. You can say that, shake awake. So, if you do shake it or you lift the gun up, it will turn on. I'm going to get out of the way. Just, I don't know how well, if you can see it in the camera. I don't have a mirror behind the camera, so I really can't tell. But it is a very good red dot. I like it. It has a very big window. It does give you a great picture. But at the end of the day, that's the red dot. I like it. I'm happy with it. I haven't had an issue with it. It works good out at 25 yards, 30 yards. So there's no issues with it at all. That being said, it does come with these nice covers that you can just click on very simply and they as you saw they lock into one another on the battery screw moving on from that the firearm is a very good firearm like i said i like it i have no issues with it but i tell you what the takedown on this is beyond something it uh surprised me how easy it was you press this back button and yeah that's as easy as it is full catch comes out from there, you have all availability to clean your firearm, um, grease it throughout the whole entire chamber, wherever you do want to grease it. I do not use synthetic oils on anything that is not that anything that I'm not shooting suppressed. Sorry about that, that may be a little loud. Anything that I'm not shooting suppressed. 
So if I do shoot suppressed, I do run oils. Lucas Oil actually makes a very good gun oil and a gun grease now, which I've been using for the past couple of months. And I have to say, I'm very pleased with it. That being said, the firearm goes together very simply. You just slip it in right here to the groove. That groove goes into this groove and press the button and it just closes. And this firearm being said, even with it racked, you cannot fire the trigger without the slide being inserted. There's a button here, but that doesn't even do it. There has to be an action inside here. I've seen it once when I took the, the grip off when I was doing the grip and it's in there. The slide touches the action. It uh, releases a safety that allows you to pull the trigger. Going forward from that, the, um, the gun is a substantial gun. I recommend it. I like it. It comes in gold, yellow, gold, purple, black, gray, and that's about the colors I think right now. Uh, they do have a new option that it doesn't come with the sights, but the rail is actually mounted back here. And this is over here would be all open and the rail would be mounted in the back where this rear sight is for, an, for a smaller MOA. Um, besides that, it's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. Like I said, my friend Joe and myself will be doing a review with the both of them. And we'll have a little bit of a demonstration on if we can get his gun working fully, which we should be able to. If not, guess what, Ruger? You're getting one in the mail. and You're going to fix it. <laughs> so, like always, thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. My second video. Hope they're getting better. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying. See you next time. Have a good day.